Hello everyone, greetings to you from St. Anthony's. So in today's video we are going to talk about our beautiful parish church. So we are all very familiar with it but it holds a lot of hidden surprises. First, who was the architect? When you enter the church you can read on this poster Paul Pugin, the son of the famous architect Augustus Pugin. So we can be very proud really to have a Pugin church. Augustus Pugin was an English Catholic architect who died in 1852, age only 40. But he had a very important role in what is called the Gothic Revival Movement. There are all kinds of different styles of architecture. Classic, Norman, Renaissance, Baroque and Gothic. In Pugin's opinion, the Gothic style was the most fitting for a Christian architecture because it expressed on the best way the glory of God and humanity's longing for him. By the way, Pugin is the one who designed Big Ben. And the interior of the House of Lords was entirely designed by him. Plus, of course, countless other churches and buildings all around the country and elsewhere. One of the most obvious features of Gothic style is the pointed arch. It's a technique that frees the stone from gravity and permits the construction of very tall buildings where the eye is drawn upwards to make it easier for the believer to lift his soul up to God. Our church does indeed have a lot of vertical lines pointing to heaven. At, at Our Lady's altar, also designed by Pugin, you can very clearly see this upward movement which symbolizes the resurrection. And this is reinforced by these pinnacles. Our church, like most churches, is in fact built in the shape of a large cross. It's not very obvious because there was probably lack of space at the sides, but you can see it clearly here and here. The meaning of it is that it's Jesus' sacrifice which allows us access to the divine. We live and pray in Jesus when we are here. Another thing Pugin often said is that Christian architecture should be honest. <laughs> so now what does it mean? You see in Georgian architecture, for example, that was very common in Pugin's time, there were a lot of false elements in the construction, like columns, which are not supporting anything, 